Quarantine time has really um, gotten me some free time. But hey, it's Tay Marie. Thank you for checking me out, checking in. Um, new scenery. I didn't feel like being in my room. So I felt like this is better lighting anyway. So my friend, my best friend here, Christopher, wanted my answer for what he posted. So here's his post. Don't mind me reading. People say that they want honesty and transparency when dealing with relations with another person. But why is it when we do receive that honesty, it becomes an issue? Examples. Dudes getting upset when a woman honestly doesn't want to have sex. Or a woman getting upset when men honestly state that they're not ready for a relationship. And I have a very simple answer. Because people don't like when they don't get what they want. And I'm going to say it slower. People do not like when they don't get what they want. Prime example. The dude's one. For, you know, getting upset with a woman when she generally doesn't want to have sex. All right. Now, you have some chicks. I get it. They just never in the mood. But if a chick really don't want to do nothing, sometimes it really has nothing to do with you. <laughs> Females go through a lot. Sometimes her stomach just could be killing her. And she didn't want to blatantly tell you, my stomach is in bubble guts. I didn't want to have sex. <laughs> Simple as that. Or maybe she could be down about something that she's just not ready to talk about. So it could be an emotional standpoint. She could just be saving you from a moment where it's not going to be good because she's just not there mentally. But it has nothing to do with you. Sometimes it's because, you know, she just, in her mind, doing this and holding out makes her, you know, a little classier looking female. Not realizing, talk to your dude and see his opinion because his opinion might be a little different. All right. So the one where he said women get uh, getting upset when men honestly state they're not ready for a relationship. Um, yeah, women don't like rejection. And to them, that feels like a rejection because women date with a purpose they date because they want a man they date because they want to get married most of them now my problem with that is if a dude blatantly tells you in the beginning he does not want a relationship he's not ready yet if you still choose to be with said guy you cannot be upset with him if in three months he's still not ready yet because he told you how he felt he likes you you're good fun you know you go on dates he enjoys that but um, a lot of men are afraid of commitment and the thought of committing to one person and putting their all into one thing scares them. So we cannot get mad at somebody because they say they're not ready. Like me, I'm not ready for a marriage. Do not propose to me. I'm going to tell you no. And it's not because I don't see you as that future or maybe it is. Who knows? But, <laughs> but I can't, I'm not ready for that. That's just not what I'm looking for right now. Um, I want a solid foundation in a relationship. I want great communication. I want some honesty. I want some, you know, transparency. I want to know that you're my support system. I want to know that you're going to be there. I want to know you think we and not just about yourself. I want to know that you have plans for us to move further. I want businesses together. I want to make choices together, not just on our own. I don't want to feel like I'm going through hard times by myself. And I don't want him to feel like he has to go through a hard family choice by himself. Like, I want a partner. I want to feel like I have a life partner. And until I feel that, I don't think I'm ready for a marriage. And also, there's other personal things that I feel like I need to fix on myself as well. So who knows? Maybe counseling will help with that. Um, I want marriage counseling. So you can propose all you want. Even if I say yes, it's going to be with stipulation. Yes, if we go to counseling. And I would really hope if I said this to somebody, they would receive it okay. Because I'm not telling you I don't want to marry you. I just feel like as of today, I don't see us having a strong relationship hold or bond to last because that's my goal and anything I want I want it to last I don't want short-term nothing so 
if we can't be honest and transparent without being upset, what are we in a relationship for? A relationship is not, it's going to go my way or the highway. A relationship is two people and it needs to be beneficial for two people. Sad to say this because you know I learned this from my job. You got to think win-win. You also got to seek first to understand without, you know, then to be understood. You also should be working on being a water bottle where work on things that you can change and not things that you can't change. Like you cannot change a person. A person has to want to change. You cannot make him be the man of your dreams. He has to want to be that man. If he's somebody that's lazy, no ambition, a cheater, whatever, whatever, whatever's going to make him stop or change that behavior is him. Vice versa for a dude. If your chick still want to be stripping and this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that, you can't force her to do anything she don't want to do. That woman has to be ready to see that for herself. And then if you're that person, she'll do that for you. But you cannot change her. She has to want to change. So inside. So I hope that answers your question, Chris. Mm, I even made a video. Anywho, rest of you friends. Peace love bye subscribe like hit me up hit me up hit me up tay marie out of here